As the moon overtook the sun, eclipse mania overtook much of the United States. 31 million people lived in the path of Monday's to total solar eclipse. For those who, were, who missed out on only got a partial view, the next total solar eclipse will grace North America 20 years from now. For more on the total eclipse of the heartland, let's bring in Edmund Novak. He's a professor and the chair of the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Delaware. Thank you so much for being with us. You founded, Edmund, a group called the Eclipse Chasers at the University of Delaware. How did it start and how did you prepare for this chase? Yeah, so the Eclipse Chasers uh, started about a year ago. It is um, one of the teams that is part of the National Eclipse Balloon Project that's being funded by NASA. So we wrote a small proposal uh, and we're funded to take a, a student-led team of 10 students plus myself to, uh, to both the annular eclipse as well as the total eclipse that happened actually today. And tell us about some of the experiments that you conducted during the eclipse. So the experiments, this was an engineering track on this NEBP program, and um, the students were involved in creating various subsystems to basically have uh, atmospheric sensors on board the payload flight string. And this flight string consisted of about five different payload boxes with different instrumentation in there, mostly atmospheric sensors, uh, but also some uh, exciting video streaming that was taking place in addition to video recording. And those sensors are basically used to monitor temperature, pressure, humidity changes as the eclipse occurs. And the hope is that some of this data can be used to help inform better weather forecasting, as well as looking for these um, phenomena called gravity waves, which are ripples in layers of the uh, atmosphere that happen kind of similar to like when you drop a pebble into a pond, you'll see these ripples that propagate out but the ripples for during the eclipse are caused by the shadow of the sun, uh, the shadow of the sun passing across the atmosphere, causing it to get colder, densification, and consequently you get a similar ripple effect that happens. And what could the is the on the gravity waves? Is it knowledge for knowledge's sake, or is there a um, is there something that learning about those gravity waves would possibly lead us towards? It, it's partly for uh, trying to detect them. Uh, they were first detected in the 2017 eclipse, uh, but we want to be able to study them a little bit more deeply. And again, since it involves uh, various layers of the atmosphere, knowing uh, and understanding how gravity waves are formed, how they propagate through the atmosphere, has, uh, will basically lead to better understanding of our atmosphere, weather conditions, and ultimately, hopefully, for forecasting. Edmund Novak with the University of Delaware. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for your interest in what we're doing and uh, the student experience.